before we proceed with caution i do want to take some time to say thank you to millionaire match who is today's sponsor are you single well if so this is the app for you only if you make about two hundred thousand dollars a year this is for people who are financially stable who are looking for a serious relationship this luxury high-end dating app you can meet over four million attractive singles looking for a serious relationship that could even lead to marriage right so enticing so exquisite <laughs> if you're like me and you love like dating tips they also provide you with professional counselors you can talk to via live streams or Q&A sessions. Use the link in the description and download today. Or you can go to directme slash and download the app from there, okay? This app is not for sugar babies or sugar daddy relations, pay pigs, cash app scams, escorting, prostitution, gift card receiving and giving, PayPal transaction, fraudulent payments, hoarding, jaywalking, running stop signs, overcooking. Hello, my name is Sansa Ray here. Welcome to my channel. I am a certified life coach. I give relationship advice to men and women. However, I also give advice about God, business, and wealth. These are my favorite things to discuss. This is what I love, so this is what I do, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And make sure you thumbs up the video. I decided to make this video for any man who is a Kevin Samuels fan, a Tommy Sotomayor fan, a Minister Jap fan, a Coach Adams fan, a Real Talk Miami fan, anybody that's in, in cell, red pill, MGTOW, Negro Manosphere, any type of anti-woman or anti-black woman or men's rights type of organization, this video is specifically for you, okay? Excuse me as I kiss the sky. A lot of you follow me on the internet, okay? And a lot of you are even subscribed to my YouTube channel. Some of you have come over to my TikTok. Some of you have come to my Instagram. Some of you have come to my Twitter. And it's weird to me because I feel like as men, you know, if you don't like someone, it would make sense to not follow them on other social media platforms. Yeah. But a lot of you comment all over all of my stuff. And one of the biggest complaints that you guys have is the fact that I turn my comments off. A lot of you come in my comment section and you say things like, oh, you must be scared. People disagree with you. You have dislikes. You are upset because people don't like what you're saying. Yuck, 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 you know, etc. And they think this is why I cut my comment section off. That's not even the reason why I do it. Listen, I love everybody's opinion, okay? Y'all opinions are great to me. I don't mind people disagreeing with me at all. I love when you guys come in my comment section and you have something intellectual to say. It impresses me. I'm an intellectual woman. I love to hear the opinions of other people. It is amazing to me. When I can have dialogue with someone and we can sit down and talk about our perspectives and our viewpoints about whatever topics, that's amazing to me. That's what I thrive for. You know, that's what I love doing, communicating with other people. So that's not it. Definitely not it. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not concerned. I'm not. No, I love talking to people. Okay. <laughs> so the problem is a lot of you do not know how to behave in public. Okay. The way that you behave in the real world is the same way that you should behave on the internet but a lot of men use the internet as a way to be predatorial and disrespectful towards women okay so if you was to come into my comment section and behave how you would in a public place in real life then I will respect you when you came into my virtual reality and try to express your opinion here so because I believe that not all men are monolithic I like to put men in two different categories so I have alpha males that I talk about and I have beta males I keep it very simple that's just so I won't offend a man okay because there's so many men 
coming in my comment sections with their gripes about women, I have to decipher the difference between a man who knows how to act in public versus another man who is struggling inside of that department. Let me give you an example. Let's say that your favorite restaurant is Chick-fil-A. It's a public place, but Chick-fil-A promotes a specific message. They put out the same kind of food, chicken, right? Chick is their thing. All they talk about is chicken, okay? <laughs> but you, for some reason, disagree with chicken. You prefer burgers, okay? So you prefer going to Burger King. Do you go to Chick-fil-A and scream about how they don't sell burgers? No, you just go to Burger King. It's the same thing on the internet. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? When things do not apply to you, let it fly. The truth of the matter is that a lot of things that I say do apply to a lot of men. So if I talk about how men are having problems with getting women to submit and I tell them why, a lot of men feel but hurt about the truth. I am not concerned about your truth. When you come over to my side of the internet, you're concerned about my truths and my perspectives and my opinions. That's why you came over. Okay, when you come over to my side of the internet, it's still my house. So I do not allow men to misbehave in my home. And this is what I'm trying to get a lot of men to understand. They feel so entitled. They feel like I should be pressed to have their opinion. Your opinion is yours, honey, and it does not belong to me. But you try to make me adopt it as if... I went through the same things you went through, the traumas you went through, the type of lifestyle you had, your experience. I didn't experience those things, so I can't adopt your way of thinking. I can only speak from my perspective and the experiences that I have. But a lot of times men try to negate what I'm saying intellectually because of my hairstyle or my makeup or a filter or that I have kids, or that I was homeless four years ago, or just a whole bunch of irrelevant stuff that has nothing to do with the topics that I discuss. So if I say Kevin Samuels is in no position to judge anybody, and he should discontinue teaching men how to have superficial double standards, betas are coming to my comment section with superficial double standards as their rebuttal. If you want me to take what you're saying serious, you have to say something that's intellectual that debunks my perspective. That's all you have to do. But men want to come in my comment section and insult me or discuss my private life that has nothing to do with the topic. Some betas feel some type of way about me having OnlyFans. No alpha is giving me a problem about that, but betas are. And betas try to use my OnlyFans as a crutch when they want to come into my comment section feeling but hurt because I've spoken about their insecurities, their shortcomings, their, you know, hangups, right? So instead of them coming to me, expressing themselves in a healthy manner, that's extremely masculine and appealing. They like to come in my comment section with a whole bunch of negativity and insults. Listen, I'm not trying to appease you with my only fans my only fans is for people who are my fans if that's not you then please understand that your perspective about my only fans is irrelevant i'll cut off my comment section if i'm bored with the topic or the content you have to understand i do a lot of content so i get bored with content often and a lot of people like to keep discussing a topic and it's like beating a dead horse and i'm seeing a whole bunch of people arguing and saying all types of stuff and it's just like Ugh, you know what i mean sometimes i cut it off because it's getting overwhelming for not just me but my moderators like whoever is in the comment section watching what everybody says trying to make sure that an argument doesn't get out of hand that gets overwhelming for my moderator so a lot of times I'll just cut the comment section off also I'll cut the comment section off because I'm trying to funnel you meaning there are other things that are on my profiles that I would like for you to watch there's other content so I'll cut the comment section 
off of a video that is very appealing and a lot of times it'll make people watch other content on my channel or on my profiles so that's another reason why i'll turn the comment section off on a very popular video a lot of times i'm just busy you know and i want to read and respond to everybody but if i have more than one viral video going on it's very hard to watch millions of comments so i'll just turn the comment section off and move on you guys have to understand i'm on instagram twitter facebook tiktok and youtube it's too many aggressive immature beta males it's way too many and they like to swarm my comment section with a whole bunch of negativity and foolishness and weird jokes and it's, it's just too much like if somebody does a video about me and we've seen that happen people have done a video about me because i'm a single mom right and not explain to men all the time that not all single mothers are bad but men will come into my comment section talking about their experiences with single moms like they've dated me no man who is inside of my comment section has dated me but you guys want me to sit there and listen to you complain about some other woman you dated that I don't know. I can only talk to you about the kind of woman that I am and the kind of ways that I think and my experiences and my perspectives. And just because you made your poor choices in women doesn't mean that I'm those women. But for some reason, a lot of men like to put the blame on me for what some other woman did to them. I'm trying to explain that a lot of men that you have to get out of your own way so that you can see that it's really just your choices in women, not the fact that they have kids, not the fact that they wear weave, not the fact that they wear makeup or filters. It's just that you made a poor choice in women as far as their character goes. I've come onto social media real hair <laughs> looking great why are you wearing all that weave y'all can't even tell the difference between when i'm wearing my real hair versus when i'm wearing fake hair like even when i wore my hair curly right when i wore my hair out and i wasn't straightening my hair and i wore it curly why don't you do something to your hair it's like are you listening to what i'm saying what i'm saying to you has nothing to do with my hair why are you so like focused on my hair then when I straighten my hair out, right, <laughs> and I try not to do that often because I have naturally curly hair. When I straighten my hair out and I wear my hair from the root straight, why are you wearing all of that weave? Why are you doing such and such? My real hair or my weave has nothing to do with you improving your life. For some reason, men try to determine my intellect by my dress size that doesn't make any sense but what is also interesting to me is when i take the time to call women out on the stuff that they do like i tell women not to be hypergamy sluts i tell women not to go out here use men for money i just basically tell women to stop it with the bullshit i don't see men coming in my comment section talking about my hair and my makeup and my weight then the only time men have something to say about my physical appearance is when i'm holding them accountable for the things that they have done now if you haven't done it you have nothing to be accountable for. You shouldn't feel some type of way inside of my comment sections at all because what I'm saying doesn't apply to you. My self-care and my mental health is more important than your opinion, traffic, and views. I love engagement, trust me, but I am not, not gonna risk my health just to get an opinion, okay? I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna shut it all the way off. Only I can determine how much I can deal with. And there is a lot of verbal abuse, a lot of insults. And it's, I feel like what a lot of men try to do is bring my confidence level down. They don't want me to think highly of myself, but I keep trying to explain to men, you are in no position to determine how I feel about myself. What you have to say about me and your perspective about me belongs to you and only you. A lot of men will try to get other men to feel how they feel because if other men feel how they feel about me, that's the only time that they feel like their perspective or opinion about me is valid. That's weird. Like if you are correct, you believe that your opinion is true 
or write about me. You don't need other men to chime in. You don't need other men to chime in and clap you on so that what you're saying is now valid. Your opinion of me should have been valid long before you sat there and tried to convince some other man to think what you think. And that's another problem I see a lot of men do. Y'all like to team up as a pack and try to destroy a woman. That's real beta. But if you tell a beta this, a beta is in his feelings and he's hurt. So remember this, fellas. I may not be in agreement with your messiah. But I don't know these dudes personally. I can only give my opinion about who they are. They are not built for me. They're built for you. They're not supposed to be somebody I'm interested in. I personally think that being a men's rights activist doesn't include you trying to oppress women or control women or insult and disrespect us. Because I know for me, women's rights or even feminism it has nothing to do with being anti-man you understand and if you've watched enough of my content you know how supportive of men i am no matter how many times you've heard the rumor that i hate men or something like that i definitely don't i actually love men y'all pretty cool like men to me are the bestest friends you guys are better friends than women sometimes. I swear to God. I still have to call y'all out on some bullshit. Like, when y'all bullshitting and y'all know y'all bullshitting, I just say that. And it's the same thing with women. Like, well, women, women cool, you know, they're not as cool as men are to me. But women cool, right? When I call women out on their bullshit, they call me a pick me. When I tell women to not mislead or mistreat men, they call me a pick me. Like it's not normal to reciprocate positivity and love to men. When I turn around and I make content for women, a lot of men feel betrayed like, oh, she must hate men. Nah, I'm just letting women know about the bullshit that betas do. And when I'm talking to men, I let them know the bullshit that the basicas do. You understand? Like, it's not one-sided with me. It's balanced with me. A lot of men feel some type of way about me. They don't like me, but I've noticed that they don't really like a lot of women. So, it's not just me. But I would just appreciate it if more men came in my comment section acting civilized. Like, if you came into a public space in real life, whether it's a restaurant, a park, a library, wherever it is, if it's a public place and you start acting like a buffoon, your ass gonna get kicked out of there. Just because my comment section is public doesn't mean you can go in there acting stupid. A lot of people want my sexuality to matter or my relationship to matter in order for them to apply my advice to their life. But here's what I want everybody to understand. Regardless to what I'm doing with my life, right? The advice will still be the same. A lot of people want to see if I'm a hypocrite or not. Do I live by what I say? Definitely live by what I say. And as I get older, as I start to experience more life and I start to learn more, I get better as a woman. It's easier for me to give you better advice as I get older. Don't let the woman that I used to be confuse you. I'm not the woman that I was. You know, you grow over time. I just refuse to be stagnant. You know, I just had to improve who I am as a woman. I had to improve myself. I had to do the work for me, not just for the people that listen to me give advice, but for me, you know, I had to do my self work and my self care. I don't expect everybody to like me. That's just stupid. Why would I do that? The world is versatile. The world is a big place. So for every man that doesn't love me, trust me, there are a hundred men that do. And this is what I need for men to understand that not every man is you, honey. There are other men out there that appreciate everything that I do, everything that I say, how I live my life, because it applies to them. I've helped them improve who they are as men. OK, so if you would like for me to help you in your situation, whatever it is, just ask me. If you don't want me to help you, that's fine too. At least go to somebody that can help you improve who you are. It doesn't have to be me, okay? It could be your favorite, whoever. Just know that when I come on social media, I'm here to help someone. I'm here to help someone improve the best way I know how. And if it doesn't apply to you, that's fine. Just scroll on by. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? Also keep in mind, fellas, that my comment sections belong to me, 
okay? It's my prerogative. If I want to cut off my comment sections, that's what I'm going to do. A lot of men feel so entitled to my comment section as if my comment section belongs to them. No, 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 no. My comment section still belongs to me. Just because I allow you to be there doesn't mean that it's yours. It's still mine. And in order to protect my own energy, I'll cut it off. So just keep in mind that sense of entitlement that you guys have to be able to comment and say whatever the fuck you want to say without regarding somebody else's feelings when you're in their house is some weird shit. Because I'm not going to anybody else's platform, stepping out of pocket with them every time I disagree. I'm not insulting them, disrespecting them. You don't see me doing that on anybody's platform. Nowhere. I appreciate you watching. Leave your comments in the comment section below, all right? Have vision and stay focused. Namaste.